Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Europe here at the Hanover Messe 2023. We're here at the technical forum where we dive into all the new technologies related to the hydrogen sector. So please have a seat, have a drink, and join us for these super interesting talks. Up next, we're talking about AEM alkaline electrolyzers for efficient green hydrogen production and renewable energy transition. Here from Genhai, the project manager, Dr. Hadi Falala, please come to the stage. Hello. Welcome, Hadi. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Well, so hello, everyone. It's nice to be here, and thank you for the invitation. Uh, I'm Hadi Fadlala. I'm a mechanical engineer with a PhD degree in energy and uh, engineering sciences. I'm a project manager at Jenny, and I'm in charge for the evolution and the development of our uh, electrolyzer technology at different technical levels. Uh, so, as most of you might know by now, that Jenny is a company specialized in the development and the production of alkaline electrolyzer systems for hydrogen production. So the French-based company uh, masters the whole hydrogen production chain of hydrogen from A to Z, uh, from the membrane production to the catalytic coating on the membrane and on the electrodes as well, to the complete stack assembly and the integration inside the balance of plants. First of all, our uh, AEM membrane is completely developed and produced in our facilities. The ceramic-based membrane is free of any rare earth metals and thus it has a controlled production cost. This membrane has an optimized ionic conductivity and high mean time before failure with guaranteed operation lifetime of 50,000 hours. Uh, the Genam membrane is proven to be highly performant in alkaline electrolyte medium with a large operational um, uh, range from 0 0.1 to even 2 ampere per centimeter squares of current density on the polarization curve. Uh, through the course of the last year, uh, Jenny has focused on the development of the catalysts for the membranes and for the electrodes. So Jenny has developed a new catalyst formulas and the position of processes for its membranes and electrodes, free of any rare earth metals like the PGMs, platinum, and iridium, but at the same time achieving high efficiencies as much as 85 percent of efficiency in nominal operating conditions compared to 60 to 65 percent for similar technologies at the same energy levels. It's important to mention uh, that uh, Jenny continues in the research and development of the ca new catalyst formulas to achieve even much higher efficiency rates as much as 91 percent of efficiency. Uh, thanks to the Genam membrane, the AEM membrane, Jenny can develop its own stack design, a zero-gap stack design, compact, with 50 kilowatt nominal operating power. The stack performance is validated by a third-party laboratory of the Ecole de Mines in Paris, with a production rate of 25 kilograms of hydrogen per day, with 85% of efficiency, in nominal operating conditions. And thus, thanks to the membrane and the zero-gap compact stack design, we can have a modular approach for our balance of plants by having a clusters or models of 200 kilowatt capacity, four stacks, each stack makes 50 kilowatt, that can be multiplied based on demand without it changing any of the internal components of our balance of plants or our electrolyte container. We have a containerized solution that can be multiplied based on the client's request. And that's why we can propo propose two kinds of uh, electrolyzer products. The first unit is a 20 feet container unit 
with a production capacity that goes from 100 kilowatts with two stacks and 50 kilograms of hydrogen per day production capacity up to 800 kilowatts with 16 stacks and 400 kilograms of hydrogen per day production capacity. The other product is a 40 feet electrolyzer unit that goes from one megawatt, 20 stacks, up to two megawatt, 40 stacks, with a production capacity of one ton of hydrogen per day. Hydrogen is produced at 30 bars of pressure with 99.95% of purity. Several applications have been identified as potential markets for our electrolyzer systems, such as the mobility applications and the HRS uh, stations, hydrogen uh, refueling stations, and even uh, industrial applications like in steel making, metallurgy, and applications that require heat and furnaces, and even storage applications and power to gas. In the end, I would like to mention that by the end of the year 2023 and the beginning of 2024, Jenny will industrialize all of its products from the AEM membrane to the catalytic coating on the membrane and electrodes to the complete stack assembly and even the balance of plants. Jenny will industrialize all of these products in its factory in the east of France with an initial production capacity of 30 megawatt per year in terms of stacks, it represents 600 stacks. In terms of systems, it represents more or less like 30 containers. And this capacity will be tripled and increased by at least three times to achieve 100 megawatt of production capacity by the year 2025. So thank you for your attention. And I will be delighted to answer your questions. And of course, you can find us in the booth D48. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Hadi, for your lovely presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions from the audience uh, so far? All right. So this AEM technology, we, we hear a lot about it. There's a lot of uh, fuss. When do you see it entering the market? Well, uh, I see that it's really entering the market uh, faster than it's expected, to be honest, because uh, if you see in this exhibition, there is a lot of uh, producers for different AEM technologies. There are several technologies like ceramic-based membrane, what Jenny provides today, or polymer-based membrane, like other electrolyzer suppliers. So I think that the technology is really entering the market today faster than it was expected, because maybe the maturity level is getting higher and higher by time. And pers on the personal level, let's say Jenny, we are really looking forward to enter the market as soon as possible by maybe a couple of months, maybe by the year 2024 when the factory will be operational. We will start delivering electrolyzer systems for the different applications that we presented over here. And then it's the kickoff. You know, <laughs> I hope it will go exponentially in the future. Exactly. And, and can we already place orders for these uh, electrolyzers? Uh, in terms of orders, today we have a lot of requests, ongoing requests. We have uh, already a, a demonstrator with 150 kilowatts operational power in our facilities in France. And also we have a one kilowatt electrolyzer unit that is being fabricated to, be, to see the light by the end of this year for a mobility application. So. We started really our production on the pre-industrial scale, and by the middle of 2024, we will industrialize the completed process as soon as the factory is ready and operational. Right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And uh, we can find you at which booth again? D48. D48. Please find uh, Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.